There are CSRs and there are grand CSRs. But I want to tell you the story of a CSR unlike any other. It is a story of empowerment, of hope, of harnessing clean energy. A story that shows one should never stop learning. And no matter how little you have or how old you are, one should never stop helping. The Tanging Tanglao Project is a rural electrification project led by Diwata, Women in Resource Development, the Philippine Mine Safety and Environment Association, and the Land Rover Club of the Philippines. It is unique because it involves handpicking determined grandmothers from the Philippines' indigenous Aita tribe, who despite not being able to read nor write, are willing to go to a revolutionary school in India to learn how to become solar technicians. This school is called the Barefoot College of India, a renowned organization with alternative methods for teaching the rural poor and illiterate. The course is six months long, and the idea is to have these solar grandmothers return to their native land in Bambantarlak after having acquired the technical skills to assemble, install, maintain, and repair solar-powered lamps in their otherwise electricity-free communities. While some more fortunate Aita barangays do have lines of electricity, with an installation fee of 3,000 pesos, most Aita families could not even afford the initial cost. Meanwhile, other more remote barangays do not have the option of electricity at all. The prospect of solar energy has thus become largely attractive. Not only is it free, but it is also sustainable. In cooperation with the Indian government through its iTech program, the first batch of ITA scholars, fondly dubbed our Solar Lawlas, graduated from the Barefoot College and returned to the Philippines. Today, we are transporting them 20 sets of solar equipment shipped from India so they can begin lighting up their communities. Getting to the heart of the impoverished Aita villages in Bambantarlak was not a walk in the park. The paved road soon faded into a tough dirt road that after the torrential rains, transformed into a peanut butter goo that made it quite difficult to traverse. Saying that nothing less of the prodding power of a Land Rover could make it through was not an understatement. The off-road skills and enthusiasm of the Land Rover Club members were indispensable to the success of the project. And so this is the exciting part of being in a Land Rover. Matthew here is doing a great job. He's a member of the Land Rover Club. Matthew, what is it that you like a lot about this Defender? I like the Defender because it'll bring you anywhere and get you back home without a problem. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Finally, after an exciting drive through unrelenting turf, we reached our first destination. So we just arrived here at Barangay Kaging and what you see in this small building is an REW. It means Rural Electronics Workshop and it's pretty important because this is the place where they store all their electronics equipment. It is also the same place where they assemble this equipment and they also test it and repair their stuff. So right now you're going to see the Solar Lolas at work. Sita and Magda are among a handful of selected Aita grandmothers who bravely flew to India, studied at the Barefoot College, and graduated with flying colors after six months. They have now returned to their villages in Bamban as empowered lady light bearers. Ginawa namin po yun kasi wala pong mga ilo yung kaparehas namin pong mga kulot. <laughs> yung pa pa yung tawag ninyo sa sarili ninyo, mga kulot? Opo. Gaano po katagal nyo dapat ibilad sa araw bago ma-charge ang inyong mga lamp? Mag-umpisa po ng mga alas 8 po. Mga alas 5, yun, alisin na namin po. Mula alas 8 hanggang alas 5. So ngayon, dito po sa inyong sitio, ilang bahay na po yung may ilaw? 20 po.
hindi ba kayo nahirapan na matutunan to? Mahirap nang gumawa ng ganun. Kung bago kang dating. At saka mga titsin namin doon, kahit na hindi kami nagkaintindihan, puro ng English, signal na lang, ganito, ganito ang gawin ninyo. Gawin ninyo. So, ibig nyo po sabihin, nung natututo kayo, English sila magsalita, pero hindi naman po kayo nakakaintindi ng English. Nakakaintindi kami ng kunti, hindi man namin mabigkas. Kung ganun, ganun ang gawin ninyo, ganun, ganun. One of the secrets of teaching technical skills to these solar lolas was a picture-heavy textbook showing step-by-step -step procedures for installation and repair. And now right behind me is the culmination of it all, when the solar lolas are finally installing the solar lamps in the beneficiary's house. <laughs>